All right, large format tile on your shower floor is super, super easy to do and you can charge really good money for it. On today's vlog, I'm gonna show you how to do it. All right, so the first thing we have to do is figure out our layout. So basically, if we were to do three pieces of tile just running this way, first, our tile is running this way because that's what it is in the entire bathroom, we're going to have this tile flow over and just continue. So it's gonna have really, really nice, clean look. So if I just go three pieces of tile like this, one, two, whatever, three, then I'm left with this weird little sliver. And I don't like that because my pan then is not balanced. What I'm going to do is come out of the center of my drain like this, then come this way like that. I have a really nice large piece here. I'm going to have a really no nice large piece on this side. And then the pan itself is going to look very balanced. So we're gonna do that first. So our tile pattern is going to be 50% offset. So we're going to go uh, large, short, large, short. It's going to wrap around the curb and then just continue over. I want to make sure that my pattern here just continues and wraps over the curb and goes in. I think that's going to look pretty sick. All right, so let me show you how simple it is. So this is the center of our drain or our pan right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this piece of tile tightly up against this. I want this to be tighter here because we want this pattern to just continue over. So I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna get two uh, leveling clips for my spacing, then get this into here, this piece. Now, I can go ahead and measure this off. We have eight and a quarter, and then this side will be eight and a quarter as well. So then we can cut this piece into here, and then a large piece into there. And then I'll show you what's next. We got these two pieces cut. I'm also going to just add a little bit of a spacer here just so that we have a little bit of a wiggle room to move it around if we have to. Uh, so we're gonna add that there. And then everything, all the magic on large format tile is basically happening here. When we're going to put this down, just like this, then set this one down like that. Now what we're going to do is literally look down from the top of the drain, come over here, Alex. You can see that drain right there. You see that little silver sliver? So we're going to put a mark right there. We're going to put a mark right there. That's where we want to cut. Continue that down there and there and there and there. And then obviously for this piece, we have to now measure how far this edge is. So for us, it's going to be six inches away. So now we're going to go here, put that six inches away mark there, do the same thing on the other side. All right, so we have our big square, and let me show you where the magic happens for your large format tile. It's all about the relief cuts. So here, let's continue these lines through that we just marked, just like that. Now, and then connect this line, that was our end of the drain. So now what you want to do is you want to add relief cuts, which means we need a 45 and a 45. So I want to have a 45 out of that corner going that way. And then I want to have a 45 out of that corner going that way. And that will give us the relief cuts to make that pitch work. All right, so we're down here at our saw setup. Let me show you how to make these cuts. So first we're going to make this cut coming through this cut coming through and then clean this stuff up. Check it out. All right, you guys see the little, little tiny chip marks that it has on our saw? I wanna clean that up and make it look nicer. So what you're going to do is get a polishing pad it up. All right, so check out how sick that looks. So right now, all of this is dry fitted. Now that I have this figured out, the rest of it is just like tiling a regular floor. 
But what I'm going to do though is dry fit everything else because I want to spread thin set on the entire pan and then just set the tile. This way I don't have to get it too messy. So let's dry fit the rest of it and then start setting it. All right, so we have everything here dry fitted. I'm going to leave this row off for now. This way I can measure that in perfectly and have like that nice quarter inch gap here. Because if this shifts around eighth of an inch, quarter of an inch, I don't want to have too big of a gap here. So I'll leave this off for the end. Okay, so we're all done. Uh, last thing you wanna make sure is that your drain is at least 16th of an inch below your tile. This way it just kind of waterfalls right into it. You don't want your drain to be above your tile because uh, then it's gonna be pulling up there. Literally, if you're going to do any type of tile, the process is exactly the same. Make sure that your tile though is honed so nobody slips. I'll see you on the next vlog.